Shalom, shalom. Shalom, this is Apostle Betsy. And I am Apostle Paula, and we're back with the next letter line, which is letter line 27. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. My name is Apostle Paula. And I'm Apostle Betsy. Shalom. And we're back with the next letter line, number 27. Holy letter 27. <laughs> and just read through the entire letter line and then we will come back and uh, point out a few things uh, that we took away from the letter line. So we start off with the strong meanings of number 27 in Greek and in Hebrew. So in Greek, strong tells us that this number means loved, beloved, with two special applications. The beloved, a title of the Messiah, Christ as beloved beyond all others by the God who sent him. Of Christians, as beloved by God, Christ and one another. Uh, in Hebrew it means father of judgment, Abidan, an Israelite meaning God's worshiper. Say the sword's meaning is vision. And from that we get the numbers 71 and that gives us stench, 153. And we link it in column E with I lead, lead away, bring a person or an animal, guide, spend a day, go, bring forth, carry, let go. Energy we link with Stony, Abana, a river near Damascus. The name Abana means constant, everlasting. Thank you, sister. So this message 27, I received, it was a dream where I got a phone call from some people here and they, they said, congratulations, happy birthday, you're 27. And they were happy birthday to you, They're, you're 27, yay. And uh, you know, I'm obviously not 27, I'm closer. <laughs> you know in the 40s put a four in front of that number but um you know that's where this letter line comes from also apostle betsy her number is 27 um for her birthday july 27 so this number is uh big for us right now so let's let's read what it means so when we put all this little bits together this is what we get for letter line 27. you have been judged as a beloved one of yah because you are a worshipper of Yah and have spiritual vision. The first aspect of the word truth from the Most High Father's mouth is faith. The second is love. The third is works. And from these comes life. If you do not fast from the world, you will not find the kingdom. If you do not observe the Sabbath as a Sabbath, 
you will not see the Father. The Bible reading comes from Exodus 7 verse 2 in the King James Version. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he sent the children of Israel out of his land. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. And Mark 7, 27 reads, But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. We continue with the blue section. You are leading people away from stench. Stench is sin that stinks to high heaven. The blue continues. The master went into the dye works of Levi, took 72 colored clothes and threw them out and they were all, and they all were white. He said, so the son of humanity has become a dyer and symbolic, this is symbolic for being spiritually purified and cleaned. The whole structure of aeons then is yearning and seeking to find the father perfectly and completely and this is their irreproachable union. In that place rightfully belong all those good names that the angels and rulers who have come into being in the world share as well, although the latter have nothing in common with the eternal ones. These are mysteries. The Bible verse there from 1 Timothy 3 verse 15. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. In Luke 1 verse 53 we read, He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. We continue with the blue. You receive constant and everlasting energy ministry to do this ministry work. The word stony in column E might also refer to your pineal gland and spiritual maturity as a living stone or a white stone, as we read in 1 Peter 2 verse 5 and in Revelation 2 verse 17. The blue continues. Thus, the Father is a single name because he is one, but nevertheless innumerable in his qualities and names. Yeshaya says, I shall give you what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no hand has touched, what has not arisen in the human heart. The word is called Savior, a term that refers to the work he, Holy Yeshaya, is to do to redeem those who had not known the Father. We read the last two Bible verses, first one from Ezra 2, verse 69. They gave after their ability unto the treasure of the work three score and one thousand drams of gold and five thousand pound of silver and one hundred priest garments. And in Titus, 1 verse 7 we read, For a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre. In the first sentence of this letter line, you have been judged as a beloved one of Yah. We just did a video just before this one of letter line 447 where you can see the same you can see the same thing where it's talking about uh, being a beloved of Yah. So again, we have that confirmation here. This letter line was also interesting because I had just finished the music 
for uh, wakefulness theology we sing together as currently as 10 people we're doing it for 10 times meaning 10 months because we sing on the new moons there's one new moon a month and so I had uh, produce the new song for this which we're singing the psalms of ascent psalms 120 to psalms 131 i believe and this was the day i received this letter line i received this number in my dream the day after we had sung for the first time so here it was a confirmation that the singing that we're doing on the new moons is us worshiping Yah and that he was pleased with that. So you can see here, you are a worshiper of Yah. So if you get this letter line, there's maybe something that you've done recently that has been received uh, as worship to the Father. These are interesting. Uh, we are Sabbath keepers, we are covenant keepers, and we are very serious about that. So that's something for you to uh, pray on and get confirmation about if you are receiving this letter line. I just want to give a comment on uh, Exodus 7 verse 2 where uh, Father instructed uh, Moses to tell Aaron to speak to Pharaoh that he sent the children out of his land, out of slavery in Egypt. We know this is also the time when Father is calling his children, the Israelites, who have been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Father is calling them out of Babylon. Where you find yourself in captivity, in bondage, in spiritual Egypt, in Babylon, Father is calling you, come out of Babylon. Please hear this call that Father is making to you this day. Amen. And so we can also see the confirmation because this is a part of our job that we've been given is that Father is in the process of reassembling Israel and he's brought us here to what we understand is the milk of land, the promised land of milk and honey. And it's what we're still learning. Holy Ashai is, is teaching us. But what we're understanding so far is that it's possibly the eastern coast of Africa where um, in the days of old, our ancestors where when Joshua crossed over the Jordan River, it's actually here in Africa. This is to be seen and understood as Holy Ashaya is teaching us. But uh, what is for sure is that he sent us here to build this temple here in Tanzania, and he will be gathering the people and, and bringing them here to the land of milk and honey, the promised land. And so here we can see a confirmation of that here in Exodus, but you also see it here where he's saying that he is going to, um, having therefore these promises that we need to clean ourselves and prepare ourselves for this. And Mark 7, it's confirming again about the children being filled with, you know, and this is funny because in the song, the reason I told you, the reason that I got this, it was a confirmation of the, the music and the worship that we started doing uh, on this past new moon. And when you look up the time of the song, it's a 40 minute song, by the way, it's 41 minutes and something seconds. And when you look up that number in Strong's uh, Concordance, it says to fill, to be filled, to fill up the children, doesn't it? That's like the meaning of the song when you look up the number. So this was a great confirmation here. Um, again, leading people away from stench. Again, when you're a worshiper of Yah, uh, we're singing on the new moon. So this is indeed uh, cleaning, cleaning us. The reason why we started singing on the new moons is because Holy uh, Father said that this is the way that we would be cleaned. And he is true and faithful. The 72 clothes, we have done so many um, messages about this in the wakefulness Saturday Sabbath service videos. So that there's a playlist called wakefulness Saturday Sabbath, <laughs> wakefulness Saturday Sabbath sessions. So please do go and, and look more into that. But the 72 colored clothes, we've understood that the 144,000, if you divide that in two, it's 72. We also know that Holy Yeshaya sent out the apostles two by two, and, and uh, he sent out 72 apostles as well. So this again is just confirmation as uh, Holy Yeshaya told us in that Saturday Sabbath service message that he's sending us out to the 200 cities, um, Apostle Betsy and myself were two, um, 
and others will come with us as well to do this ministry work so again it's just a confirmation that he is sending us out uh first timothy here this is amazing because it's talking about the house of of yah and the church and the pillars and and that's exactly what he has us doing here building the temple but not only the temple the physical temple but also our our bodies are the temple so when you're out here and you're doing the gospel you are building temples for the father in people as they accept him as their lord and savior okay in this last part of blue uh receiving the, the energy to do the ministry i just all i could say is thank you holy father because we needed every little drop so a, a beautiful confirmation here that father's with us and giving us the energy we need and uh here at the bottom yeshia says i shall give you what no eye has seen so a lot of the letter lines they have beautiful confirmations they have beautiful um so uh, what is it's almost like flattery the letter lines call it flattery we know it's not flattery as we see in human but we can take it as being flattery it's you know father encouraging us and, and telling us when we do a good job it's also judgment he also tells us when he does a you know when we're doing something wrong but here there's promises as well that he gives and a lot of these letter lines he promises us things and here's one a uh, promise where he's saying you know if you're doing this work if you're sent out an apostle and you are a worshiper of yah and you're clean and yada yada you're doing all these things then you will see what no eyes has seen so this is interesting uh, because we uh, have land here, as you know, and we were um, buying another plot and the price of that plot was $5,000. <laughs> so this happened at the same time that we were received this letter line was the same time we were selling the, the or buying the land for 5000 So that was interesting confirmation. Uh, we have been told by Holy Ashaya that we are making priests when we have the temple. We will be teaching uh, the, the book of Numbers, we'll be teaching wakefulness, we'll be teaching all these things that Holy Ashaya and Holy Spirit has been teaching us over this time. And priest people will um, uh, become priests. And so this is another confirmation here. And at the end of course just giving it, giving a confirmation of what you must be as a, a bishop yeah so in in addition to just confirmation and judgment of who you are where you are in your walk there's also instruction and that is what we get from that last bible verse in titus 1 verse 7. you know as we are going forward and doing this work as apostles as harvest workers let us keep in mind what Father expects from us not to be soft will, not to be given to wine, not to struck, uh, strike and so forth. There is an expectation of how you need to conduct yourself in this work that you are doing. And when you are clean, when you are away from stench, you are giving off a sweet fragrance. And then as uh, it said there in blue, Father is promising us what we not even have imagined will be coming our way but that is you know we need to be right we need to be clean and we need to use the energy that is giving us to do this work there's a great harvest that we need to bring in so there's many things in this letter line that we can point out but we leave it up to you you know please go and look at the first few columns here maybe you can understand something different on your own as well uh, each number here you know just depending on how you translate it it could be different for everybody every situation so take it to the most high father and see how it speaks to you we're just giving you our experience with this letter line so we give all praise glory and honor to the most high father we love you so much in christ we pray that you're blessed and holy as yeshaya shalom 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 see you next time